Hi folks, welcome to Chitora MBT. Today I'm going to share with you on how to import uh, data from Excel into Kanoko file. As you can see, I have this uh, data. As you can see, I have this data. Uh, it's about, I have three, five number of species. And then we, we do have like a 15 plot. So this one, the, is the row for species and the column is the column for site. As you can see, if you want to combine two data set, let's say you are using um, a floristic data that has environmental and species. The first thing you have to do is to break down the species on the on sheet and the environmental on their own sheet. Because if you put, for example, um, if I copy this and paste it somewhere, let's say I paste it here. If you use this kind of display in a software called uh, PST, this will work. But if you use this one in Kanoko, it won't work. That is why it's very important to know how to display uh, environmental data and uh, species into one Excel book. Then you split the Excel book into different sheets. That's why we do have the first sheet for species. The second sheet is about environmental variable. However, if you want to have a successful analysis, you need to make sure that number of sites for species and the same number of sites for the environmental variable. It doesn't matter what is in the row of uh, the name or the value, the variable that you're going to use is environmental variable. In our case, we do have this. Um, variables so when you're mixing the environmental variable and species as you can see this row has 35 species and the environmental variable has only seven uh, variable that we need to combine together with it so this is the first step you need to follow when you want to analyze a multivariant analysis Otherwise, if these two uh, conditions are not met, you won't be able to run your, your analysis. It doesn't matter how many number of species we have here and how many number of the environmental variable that you have in your second sheet. So this is the most important point that I wanted to share with you guys and I hope this uh, will assist so that you'll be able to run at least the preliminary you know, result or kind of assessment when you have an assignment or you are preparing to write your dissertation or thesis. Thank you very much. Cheers.